What's up, guys? This is Sim with Vengeance, and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, your number one UAB Blazers are on the road taking on the number two Alabama Crimson Tide for pretty much what seems to be playing as if it's like the national championship. Number one versus number two. Um, then again, we could have like plenty more of these matchups later down in the year if we stay undefeated. Uh, number one versus number two, but I'll get into that later But if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like and if you're new to the channel I'll hit the subscribe button down below. We're gonna dive di into recruiting here and see where we are at as far as uh, Where we stand with the recruits that we have I'm gonna organize them here to uh, their overall and We have Steve Evans pretty much committed to UAB. We have a good kicker now. Well at least when um Adam Green takes off for the NFL because I'm guaranteeing I think he's a senior but yeah we got him uh, we're looking at our middle linebacker here David Wright he looks like he wants to come to UAB William Clark Keenan Brown Ke uh, Kevin Owens we're not worried about Javon Singleton because we already got William Clark plus he's a blocking tight end we were kind of looking for a receiving tight end simply because we're more of a passing team more than a running team um, not to say that you know, he's a good tight end, but he just doesn't fit well in our system. Ike Franklin, Jonathan Johnson, Patrick Rivers have all committed. We're getting really close to getting um, – where we're catching up on Hunter Roberson, uh, TJ Marshall, the fullback, Jermaine McAfee, you know, all these guys here that have already shown interest in UAB. So we're looking to see what kind of uh, potential these guys have on the team uh, in our future. <clears throat> so we're going to take a look now at – the ESPN top 25 polls and this is what I'm talking about like not only are we like fighting for our national championship hopes but like we're fighting for our SEC hopes as well um, simply because we're for, we're number one sure that's fine uh, Alabama's number two fine and dandy you know Georgia's number three still in the SEC they still have first place votes LSU we've already played LSU they're number four South Carolina is number five. We played them in the SEC championship last year. Uh, USC six, Wisconsin seven, Pittsburgh eight, Troy nine, uh, Clemson 10, uh, Notre Dame 11. We got Washington at 12. We have California at 13 at five and zero. Navy's at five and zero at 14. Uh, you got Texas at 15. They're winning ball games again. Uh, Michigan at 16. Uh, Georgia Tech 17. That's pretty easy. Michigan State 18. They weren't in the top 25, but they moved up in there. Uh, uh, Louisville at 19. We have Miami 20. Auburn 21. They're 5 and 0. They may they may jump the rankings real quick. UCLA 23 or 22. Florida State 23. Iowa 24, and Oklahoma 25. Other receiving votes you got in there are UCF, Miami uh, of Ohio. You got TCU. Colorado, Florida, Houston, ECU, and Tennessee. So top five teams, they're all covered by the SEC. And that, I, I don't even know how to feel about that. But looking at the conference standings, like I said, we're fighting for our national championship hopes right here. As we have, we're 5-0 and in the conference. That's great. Uh, but we're facing a lot of good opponents here as down the stretch. And we have, oh, this is this is a gauntlet right now. And you take a look at the SEC East. You got Georgia, South Carolina, Vanderbilt. Still in contention. Florida maybe still sneak one in there. I think they're pretty much done, though. I don't think they're going to get anywhere near a uh, SEC championship game. You got other teams in here still kind of trying to win their first SEC game. Uh, and then we take a look at Heisman Watch. And that's a big thing here. Because Justin, Justin Kelly, we hope, has a field day on this Alabama defense. Um uh, he did it last year. We won. We beat him last year by three points, but that was at home. This one's different it's on the road. So we're going to get ready for this game against Alabama. It's going to be nuts. And we're going to go on to kickoff. And we are underway here in Tuscaloosa as Daniel Alexander is going to take this kickoff. Let's see how well we could do here. Oh, we got so. Ah, we couldn't get to the 20. That's all right. But here comes your boy Justin Kelly. I do the finest work. 
He's trying to pick him back up and getting him ready to go. There we go. First down. First play of the game. I like it. Let's go. Man, I, I hate facing Alabama. Okay. 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 Aaron Hicks. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get let's get this first down, man. One step at a time. Nothing to worry about. There we go. Oh, get that stiff arm. First down. Let's go. Woo, boy. Offense is, offense is looking sweet today. Let's see if they let's see if I let's see if let's see let's see what they're trying to pull here. All right, Jay. All right, Jay. All right, Jay. All right, Jay. Ah, let's go. Blitz is all over. They're sending blitzes all over. Oh, oh, another one. Let's go. Man, we don't play today. That's too easy. That's way too easy. Let's go. Touchdown, baby. 7 nothing. That's the way you got to start it off. You cannot let Alabama dictate the pace of the game. We did everything right on that drive. On us. They, can't, they do have some big threats down the field. Alabama always does. All right, that's fine. You know what? We got this. I would not be surprised to the least if they ran a screen. They have too many wide receivers on that one side. Oh, intercepted, baby. Let's go. I told you. I told you. I told you it's coming. My defense is too good. Big play first down was not the smartest idea. I will openly admit that. Oh, he's open. Oh, let's go. Alabama, you just got to take what you can get. And sometimes you just have to take opportunities, take some risks. Like this one right here was a good, safe play on third down. That's what we got to do. Safe, effective plays. I, I'm all right with a field goal. Oh, I see a hole. Oh! That's a bad throw. Yuck. Oh, crap. Oh, he fumbled! Oh, my God! Jeez! Defense is stepping up. I like it. I love it when my defense steps up. I mean, that, that game against Vanderbilt, man, that was the tipping point for me. I, I was like, I got to buckle down on defense. Almost intercepted again. Oh, they're going deep. They're taking chances. That's what they like to do sometimes. They got that skill activated. Oh, boy. Oh, another one. Oh. That was not a smart pass. He's gonna try and scramble. He's at midfield. I hate this quarterback. I really do. I hate this guy. All right, look for a screen pass, yo. Wow. There was absolutely nobody open. There was zero people open. He had to throw that one away. We have very little to do of, on offense so far. We've shown very little. Oh, man. Come on, J James. Ah, another one. They're good, man. They're good on defense. Oh, my God. Take him down, please. Sheesh. He'd be outside of his range. This is a 51-and-a-half-yard field goal. Just saying. This may be out of his range. Hey, he made it. Good kick. Ah, crap. That was just that was just bad. They're gonna go deep here on third down. I just have a feeling. I'm putting mana coverage on my on those receivers. Oh, intercept 
busted. <sighs> Y'all heard that face bomb too. I I had that pick. It did not want to stay in Robert Roth's hands at all. Mmm, <laughs> that's rough, man. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. He scrambled. Ah, oh, come on. He had it right there, man. In life, it is not worth it for you to continue on with the play. Go down, Ryan Lee. You got all. You did all of that for a yard. Oh my God, he got got it again. <laughs> Jeez. Ah. No. Okay, first down at least. We get, he just got bum rushed on the tackle. Oh, he almost got around him, but all right, we'll take the first though. Throw short little dinky passes. This, the defenses have been playing fantastic football. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay, that works. Touchdown! Yes. Oh. Holy cow. This game is absolutely nuts. Intercepted. Let's go. Brandon Carter. And there's a flag. Face mask. Add 15 more. Oh, clipping. Offensive. It's been ridiculous. The crowd of this stadium always a factor in a football game. Up, uh, first down, Brian Greed. Up. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go, go, sit down and cry. Ah! Another bad throw. Kelly's just not having it today, man. Uh, he's out. Oh, they gave him that spot. Oh my God! Again, he was. Out before he crossed the line. We stop him here. This isn't over, though. Well, it could be. Now he's scrambling. Nope. Yeah, he he's doing way too much. You see that that nonsense he's trying to do. Stupid as this sounds. As stupid as this sounds. Usually, I'm the guy who goes runs the ball on third down, or passes the ball on third down in this situation. But given given the circumstances. I'd rather just have them run out of timeouts. I've thrown two of them already. I'd rather take the points. 17-6. Beating Alabama is one thing, but to do it in this kind of defensive bout is something I kind of expected going in, considering that the defensive totals going into it. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, you got They got lucky. That's luck right there, man. That's what you call getting lucky. That's some bull. Look at that. He got the block, too. You see, you saw that. Oh, my Lord. 17-14. That's, that's a good thing we scored then. Yes. Recover the kick. Oh, hands team. All right, y'all. I'm not. I wasn't gonna prolong that game any further. As soon as I got that that final carry of the game, I was like, you know what? Just I'm done. Aaron Hicks, player of the game. He was very good today. 22 carries, 94 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, he also had a catch for 10 yards. So he had over like over 100 yards per all-purpose yards. So he did a good job today. Ugly, ugly win. 17-14. You don't see that kind of score in my dynasties. Usually you're seeing like 30s, 40s scores, but this was ugly. Defensive bout through and through. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, though. If you guys did, drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button for more content and all that good stuff. But until next time, my name is Tim with Vengeance, and I am out. Peace.